thought I'd do a quick video on how to get good photos when you're listing a stomper for sale. It seems like a lot of people don't really understand what collectors are looking for and this will help you get more out of your stomper and it will reduce the questions. One thing that most collectors want to see is the logos on the doors and the hood anywhere on this vehicle we would like to see the condition. Those uh, logos on the sides, most collectors call them tampos. They are similar to a screen print and they rub off fairly easily. Um, a lot of times when, especially these Gen 2's, when kids turn them on and off, they're constantly flipping it back and forth like that and it causes you to touch those tampos. This once these are gone, most collectors won't buy them because they're looking for, if they want a loose stomper anyway, they're looking for a nice loose version. So typically we hold them up here. One thing I notice in a lot of listings on eBay are people holding them like that, which gives most collectors nightmares. If you can, try not to touch the tampos. So typically I move them around such as this. So let's get back to the photo subject. When you're taking photos, get a picture of every side showing the entire side of the stomper. The other thing is to show the top so we can see these. If there's any reproduction parts such as this light bar, then you want to show it close up so that people can see that it's 3D printed. I paint mine white on here when they're 3D printed also. You might be able to see the build lines if I move it just right, but they're pretty decent looking, better than nothing at all. Those are typically broken from kids wiping them out. Um, anyway, another thing that people would like to see that would be helpful is on the bottom, it will have information. This says Shaper Manufacturing Company. There are some stompers that will say DreamWorks. Some will just say China and things like this. This will help a buyer decide if it's the correct chassis for this body. Now obviously this is a Shaper version, it's a Generation 2. If this said DreamWorks on the chassis it would be incorrect for this body, but that chassis is really rare so it would cause bidding to go up higher. So if you show this in the listing people will know what they're bidding on and bid possibly bid higher. So let's take the top off when you remove the top, be gentle. Ah, can't get it back on. Anyway, be gentle with this. This is your tabs. Collectors want to know if these are broken or cracked. So typically, you just pull it out just far enough to slip it off of there and remove it. Now, this is your front motor cover tab, and they're typically broken, and we'd like to see those. And on the back, there's also one that's right there these are in good shape they're not broken another thing we like to see is in the battery compartment if there's corrosion as you can see no corrosion here another thing is typically rims get cracks in them as you can see these are not cracked these have been painted by the way but they're not cracked in any way let me grab one here that has a crack to show you what to look for all right see here there's a crack so it is nice if you show a photo showing those rims so that we will know if they're cracked or not. Now setting the chassis aside, on this bug you can see the slot in the back. Sometimes this bottom will be snapped off. If that's the case then this body doesn't go back on and it will require a repair and then it's not worth as much. And the front tab is also good on this particular slug bug here. And again putting it back on you start with the back and just kind of push down to snap it on and then set it down but I know that this stuff should be straightforward but I see a lot of people posting one or two photos on eBay and there's no call for that um, eBay gives you 12 photos for free um, I think Mercari and a lot of other sites also allow you multiple photos so there's no excuse for having one picture of a stomper and not showing us exactly what we're buying this will save the buyer and the seller a lot of uh, stress and, and headaches so I hope this helps a little bit. I hope this gets out there. I'm going to upload this to YouTube. I'm also going to upload it to the Stomper Museum. Um, hope to see better photo skills out there a little bit. 
um, again it's just helping everyone so stay tuned for more future videos and visit the stomper museum thank you